In this video, I want to give you a quick, powerful reminder that in this moment that we're in, this academic dismissal, this two-year waiting period is career enduring, not career ending. This is one of the countless mantras I created for myself and said to myself in my academic dismissal period that I'm still in towards the end and where I have this current job as a campus mailman at Georgia State University where I have to physically walk into the law school that I've just been academically dismissed from, Georgia State University College of Law, and where this mantra Help me to silence that, that ego, seeing everything outside of me, seeing that I'm just a campus mailman, no longer a student. But I had to tap into this greater willpower to see beyond people going to and from class and seeing that I'm not there anymore in class and that I'm just delivering mail. But to have some greater perspectives into really push within myself to see beyond. Now, experience such a blowback that we just experienced. It's easily to tell ourselves it's all over. There's no coming back from this. This is the ultimate strike on our law school record to our whole legal career. I truly believe it's quite the opposite. What's the ultimate dagger and ending to our law school ambition, legal career? It would be plagiarizing, getting caught cheating on an exam, having some physical verbal altercation in the law school with someone, or committing a crime while a 1L in law school found out about it and you couldn't be in the exam. These are major offenses that are unmerciful and unforgiven. Probably don't allow a second chance. Yet, ours is just academic and we do have a second chance. Career ending is experiencing a terminal illness or physical handicap that wouldn't allow us to sit at a desk pain-free, physical pain-free to do the work of the law. Now, I know there are probably stories out there, people, law students, lawyers who defy these odds and had the illnesses and physical pains and still made it. My point is, if you don't fall under any of the categories I just mentioned, what we are telling ourselves mentally and emotionally is just a figment of our imagination. So let's be grateful that we do not fall under any of these categories. Right now, if this is not career ending, we are called to endure this moment with decisive, strategic and thoughtful responses. As long as we don't do anything ourselves for it to be career ending or some uncontrollable outside force causes this to be career ending, we are still active players in the law school game, in the law industry game. Our law career is alive and still on the line. I'm a competitive sports player and fan. So I use a lot of sports references. So here's how I see it in a sports frame. Negativity, doubts, fears, uncertainties, darkness can be leading at halftime, can be leading the early rounds, thinking that they're winning. But optimism, having an insane work ethic, determination, relentlessness, being able to be composed through it all. That is what wins the entire game. Having a perspective wins the entire game. Having that momentum. And what is the final buzzer, the final bell for us the entire game? Is our law school's 
final decision whether they will accept us back into law school or not. So we got to play all the way to the end. Not sit here in the first quarter looking at the scoreboard, thinking that, oh, we can't come back. The legendary lawyers, the legendary sports players, competitive performers laugh when they are down on the scoreboard because they know they can come back. It happens around us every single day. Business, sports, competitiveness. It happens. Just because you're leading in the first, second quarter does not mean you do not win the game. So that's the frame that I'm seeing it in, that this is not in it, this is far from over, that we just have to endure through this and push through it. So that's all we need to focus on right now. Execution, keep coming back again and again, improving ourselves mentally, emotionally, and academically, continuing to move forward. So this is career enduring, not career ending. Let's see how good we are playing behind. Because this is what the law industry is about. This is about pushing through problems, pushing through obstacles, challenges, adversities, our own. So that we, when we do get in the case or get in the deal, it's all good. Because we can handle it and we can come back. Just when the opposition think that they're partying and, and think that they got it, we creep up and we get them and we prevail. So that's how I see this situation. That's how I see our academic dismissal. And even while I'm still in my academic dismissal, I'm playing all the way until the end, until it is time for me to reapply for law school admissions. I'm reapplying for fall 2019, almost there. And I wanna bring you with me. So let's go, let's keep going. Let's figure it all out and let's crush the odds against all eyes, baby. Let's go.